Hi Aquarius, we're gonna go ahead and get right into this reading. I know I've been going for maybe like a week. I don't know, I took a long high ace. It was longer than usual. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this reading for you guys. Also, this is gonna be a channel message, okay? I've been having some crazy, crazy things going on behind the scenes. But more importantly, I've been getting like crazy channel messages. It's like um, that's why I had to take a break. Like, y'all, it was it was interesting, I, I will say. A lot of interesting shit going on. All right, so I just burned my cards and stuff in here, y'all. Um, but where is my phone in particular? Yes, there we go. Also, I'm going to just burn the incense here. Just burn some standard frankincense. If my lighter will work. There we go. Can't even do it right hold on there we go so yeah let's just put those right there also everything you need to know about me is down below also if you want to book a personal reading you definitely can if you have check your emails all right um just to make sure that i didn't already email you something all right so i know i'm like all over the place right now y'all but i'm trying to make sure i have enough space for this actual spread I have like maybe 12 decks of cards out right now <sighs> anyways so this is what's going on this is a channel message okay this is somebody's confirmation someone who has a friend right like basically aquarius somebody's friend or friend group or associates camaraderies um business partners co-workers whatever they are um, they're dissing you like this is not them, but it's like an extension of them. Whoever this person is dissing you or talking shit about you or, you know, is bringing your name up or trying to get you caught up in certain situations. And my thing is this, either you don't know this person or you don't know the situations actually going on. Like you have no recollection of this at all. Like when I say no recollection, like, or, you know, no information about it, you could be like, wow, this is going on. All right, but the shadow match just kind of came up when it's like, you know how people watch a live audience or you have like sitcoms from back in the day and they have live audiences. And it's always a certain situation where the main character, something's happening to the main character and the whole time, it's like the audience knows, but the main character has no idea because this is their life or their story, right? That's what I got when I was sending the message. All right, um, somebody could have definitely watched a TV show recently with a live audience also i have these two cards here so i have chiastolite and garnet you know garnet is for the root chakra chiastolite is for um your your sacra as well as your solar plexus all right and it says pass on loved ones root chakra and then i have heart and sacral for commitment so like i said somebody's acting because if they are committed to you or you know um whoever the person is in particular their friend who whoever their friend is who's talking shit about you this is somebody here who acts like either they're committed to you all right, or you know, once upon a time, they try to play in your face, where they play in your face. Yeah, for those of you, like I said, this friend is really committed to uh talking shit, dissing you, or like trying to not get a rise off of you, but like trying to like chase fame or chase cloud. Or it's like if I'm dissing you, I'm gonna get some type of respect off it, or you know, I'm gonna impress some people, or I think I'm big and I think I'm bad. Yeah, two of pinnacles, four of pinnacles. All right, let me go ahead and show you these. Yeah, because it's like whoever this uh, friend is or whoever this person is associated with, it's like they're no, they're, they know the person in particularly involved, they're being two-faced to you, okay? They're being two-faced to you, all right? Or, you know, they're acting one way in your, like, two, Ten of Pentacles of verse. This person could, like, argue about your money, your status, your job, who you are, finances, how you look, or the material realm around you or the energy concerning that. And I feel like the Four of Pentacles... They go and they vent to whoever this friend is, or they talk shit to whoever this friend is about you, okay? And the friend is like, ooh, I want to be their friend so bad. I want to impress them so bad. I want to, I want to, I want to. And this is like one of those friends where they have to prove themselves to a group or prove themselves to this person in particularly. Just to show like, yeah, I'm really loyal. Like, you know, but they got a problem. It's a problem with me too. Like, it's giving paid in full Cameron. When he played that um role and he acted like, oh, yeah, I fuck with you, I fuck with you. But he really killed his friend. Like, this is some shit like that. Yeah, because whoever they're venting to, two of wands, they're like, okay, let me go ahead and make the decision here. Or let me listen to everything they have going on. This is my easy way out. Or this is how I can, 
this is how I can impress them. This is how I can um, make them make a decision on me to actually be my friend, to stick around and show my loyalty, show respect. All right. Um, I don't know why I just thought about um, like those crime shows, Law and Order or First 48. You could have recently like seen these or somebody has like an affliction or uh, regarding them. Maybe they were on one or somebody likes these shows or mentioned them. As well as if you're going somewhere, it may even be on the TV where you're going. But yeah, Pisces energy and we have the Leo energy. So the hangman and the, <sighs> sorry y'all, I haven't did this hair in like a week. I know what the card is, the, um, damn, the least strum card, excuse me. So like I said, this is a conflict. This, this conflict with the Pisces energy is like, this person is going to use this as enlightenment or this is like an aha moment. If I do A, P, A, B, and C, I know for a fact I can benefit. I can be their friend. I can be guilty by association. Not guilty, but, you know, just reap the benefits. Or I can, you know, show that I'm worthy or whatever it is. Yeah, somebody's friend will not shut the fuck up. And the friend who, you know, they, who told their person about all this stuff. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. Seven of Wands, now this person's realizing they should have crossed their T's, dot their eyes, closed their mouth, not told their business, or kept their emotions to themselves, be stable, or use another form of coping or trauma bonding or whatever they have going on. Because it's like a trauma bonding situation. Yeah, Knight of Wands, because I feel like this person's realizing that, you know, their passion, their anger, um, their uh, disposal, wrongful disposal of their emotions or how they feel, or was. Well, I'm hearing word vomit as well, too, or what they're saying, or when they were being irate, or what their insecurities are that you triggered in them, um, Aquarius. Th th somebody just wish they never even fucking open their mouth, or they're going to wish they never open their mouth, okay? Yeah, because this person's like, damn, I really thought that I could trust them. I really thought that, you know, I cut off all my ops, my enemies, or people that, you know, aren't blindly, I'm hearing blindly, uh, what do they call it? blindly ugh, i can't even think of it blindly following me or blindly um following my commands boom yeah five of swords because they have the one up over this person they have them eating out the palm of their hand or you know they have this person in this energy where it's like okay five of swords i didn't talk my shit i didn't do what i wanted to do i still got the upper hand or i still remain humble or something is still intact the barrier is still intact okay something about cell division could be of significance or biology um but yeah like i said somebody could be biology major okay um but yeah five of swords person was like yeah i still talk my shit i still got off my chest i still find like i'm that bitch or i'm that nigga but i don't have to worry about it getting back to nobody i don't worry about no unnecessary conflict i don't have to worry about any of this, the uh, repercussions or consequences that comes with the whole situation or what i could have started or whatever the bomb i'm hearing down goes frazier okay um but yeah the sun card here this person's happy like they were happy or they're going to act like they're happy or going to have a, a sense of false happiness or this is what happened at first before you know this friend and went and told the rene mouth and start sneak this and stuff or um yeah like i said these are past present future readings all right um yeah, because whoever this friend is, while they're doing this, this person, let's see what their energy is while they're doing this or when they're going to be doing it. Yeah, three of cups, the ace of swords. They're like, okay, community. Okay, involvement. Okay, I'm a part of the group. I'm a part of the gang, you know. I'm with the gang. I'm with the mob. What was you thinking? Like, pushing up energy. Like, who you think you ahead of? Not us, you know. Both twins like T and Tamara or something. Yeah, that boy getting bread, Panera or something. Like, you know, they think they top dogs okay or this person feels like they are a part of the group they the top dog they in the game they've been initiated okay like this is giving initiation energy okay but yeah we have the queen of pentacles the star card and six of pentacles so like i said you may not have even known this person felt this way with the star card because it's like them coming to tell them sneak this in or trying to make it obvious or make it known or Make sure it gets back to you that they're talking shit and they got an issue and da 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 to try to improve, impress their friend or take their battle on whatever type of weird shit they got going on. Queen of Pentacles, whole time, you're thinking like, okay, so not only am I the star of the story, I'm also the Queen of Pentacles and I'm well balanced out. I'm getting like, you may not even have no beef with this person. You have no bad blood or even if you do, it's nothing, it's nothing too serious. Like, when Nicki Minaj say it's nothing too serious. It's nothing too serious. Yeah, but um, 
this was a channel message I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all like whoever this person is they got mad because ten of pentacles reverse somehow maybe you were talking about money maybe um the rate of pay or what you do for a living or your material world or what you have all right or how much of something you have here pocket watching think these are the different topics here um that has pissed this person off seven of cups it could even be regarding all your different opportunities all different things you have going for yourself somebody can make literally seven figures not six but seven figures here but more importantly you're just having a lot of divine interventions things are happening you know fast and for you and you're lucky too okay um but yeah this this is what it is but it's like let's see how they're viewing their so-called friend now but what about your friends are they gonna be around? Let's see. I wanna see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So the four wands of earth, they looking like nah, we not friends, we not bros, we not none of that stuff because you you finna get me caught up by the Empress. Or if you're a man emperor, yeah, ace of wands, you finna start some shit. You wanna be starting something like that Michael Jackson song. Yeah, somebody like man, you finna start some shit, or you done started some shit, alright? Nine of Swords, it was one of my fears and my worst nightmares, night of cups by trying to impress me. Or trying to secure your offer or your footing here on Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Now, you may never get that shit, bruh, bruh. Oh, we ain't fucking with you no more. Nine of Wands, we blocking you out like you're blocked. Yeah, because like I said, of course, you're showing up at the star. The Queen of Pentacles and the Empress in this reading. Here's the King of Pentacles. Here's the Eight of Swords. Somebody's in their head and this is their deep thought about this, like I said. You're showing about the Queen of Pentacles. They want to be the King of Pentacles. And this is what makes them mad. This is what makes them irate. This is what makes them feel less than or like they're in super competition with you or, or they have a bone to pick with you. You know what I'm saying? And then blowing off their steam here. King of Swords thinking that they were being analytical. Thinking that they could really, you know, speak their mind. Thinking that they could really um, master the communication style or master the situation. Somebody named could start with an S specifically like a S as in Sonia. Yeah, or a J. Yep, 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 yep. Then we have the Six of Swords reverse. This was the wrong move. Or I'm getting this with the change of plans. Once this person took a change of plans, Justice card, Two of Wands here, that's all that needed to be decided. Once the decision was made here, Ace of Swords, once everything was said, everything was still going to go your way, but Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups, they are destroying, or it's like self destruction self obliteration this is what's going on queen of wands magician card all because the queen of, the king of pentacles and the queen of wands these motherfuckers want to work together and the queen of wands is out here trying to manifest to be a part of something with this king of pentacles or this person who was you know feeling some type of way about you or uh, got secret that's like secret animosity secret beef for like energy like that okay of course let's go ahead and pull some cards for the situation i just I kind of want to see, like, from your point of view, what really happened or, like, what, how you see the situation. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, y'all. Months. So, like I said, this could have happened a couple months ago. This is happening in a couple months. Or, like I said, um, months are of significance. I don't know why I said months like that. Months don't even sound like a real word while I'm saying it. I don't know. Um, The next card we have is, like, green with envy. Like I said, this person is green with envy. This is the situation. This is what it all boils down to. I'm getting like this person could have showed that they were envious months ago. Like a couple months ago. Like this could be as small as two months ago. And long as what? 11 months ago. 10 months ago. Somewhere between that timeline. I'm going to get after this one more card. It says tempted by another. Hmm. Okay. So like I said, they're so called friends. Like that's crazy. This is a channel message. This is a channel message. Like I was not even going to like pull cards. But I'm like let me pull some cards. Because it's like why the fuck not? Why not like this video? But uh yeah, let's let's put one more card because I, I wanna do four, keep it even. Last card we have here is religion. So maybe you, um somebody could be like religions, not religions, religious, okay. Somebody could be like openly um Baptist, Methodist, uh, you know, Christian, Muslim, Catholic, um anything like that. Jewish. I'm hearing that song Bad Religion by uh Frank Ocean. Yeah. 
But I'm hearing the part and it goes like, I think it goes like, I can never make you love me or something like that. Maybe wrong. And it goes like right before he says taxi driver. Keep the meter running. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and find the lyrics. But if you've never heard that song, um, Bad Religion by uh, Frank Ocean. I, I normally hear it a lot on um, GCA while I'm playing online. All right. Um, but I did want to look at the lyrics because the song is basically about him venting. He's getting a taxi. He's venting for his whole entire ride by his life. What he's going through how he's feeling or how something made him feel. Like I said, this is what this person thought they were doing here when they was venting to this person or venting to this friend or whatever they thought they was that was not going to get back out. And this could be like their personal therapist. Let me read y'all the lyrics. It said, and it goes like this. Taxi driver, be my shrink for the hour. Leave the meter running. It's rush hour. So take to the streets if you want to. Just outrun the demons, could you? And he says... He said, Allah Akbar, I told him don't curse me. Boy, boy, you need prayer. I guess I couldn't hurt me. And then he goes like, if it brings me to my knees, it's a bad religion. Ooh, this unrequited love to me is nothing but a one man cult. And cyanide in my styrofoam cup. I can never make him love me. I can never make him love me. And it go like love, 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 love. Blah. But that's like the first verse. But that is like a great run through. Spirit just dropped this song on me. I'm reading the lyrics. I've never paid attention to them. Because when I be driving on my game, I be driving. But no, yeah, this is what it is. It all comes down to the motherfuckers being green with envy. But let's go ahead and explore the perspective of like, sorry about that, y'all. It's like, as soon as I was about to talk about your perspective on how the situation either is unfolding, did unfold, or is going to unfold. My damn iPad told me I didn't have no more space. It's an interruption. Like I said, there may be some type of intermission. There could be a significance. But the way that you're going to be viewing the, the situation or bringing it, I just feel like when it comes to the situation, yeah. We got the Judgment card, uh, Scorpio Energy, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. But Judgment is also Aquarius as well, okay? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like what's going on. Yeah, somebody may have, like, somebody may, like, make a mistake here. Or, like, somebody has an uh, issue with or doing something wrong. I feel like Eight of Pentacles... You're minding your business, you're paying attention to what you got going on, you may be working hard or whatever the fuck it is that you do or this or taking your attention or whatever it is. Like I said, this person's sending evil energy, green with envy energy, and this person don't realize they're fucking with karma or they fucking with the right one. And I feel like this is, how, this is what really stimulated this person's envy. Either you don't make mistakes here and they made a mistake here or like there's some type of block. There's something that they have that you don't. Excuse me, there's something you have that they don't. I don't know why I just seen a heart in the smoke. Okay. Um, yeah, seven of wands. There's somebody here, six of cups here, who maybe like at one point they were very stellar, they're very good at something, or um very tidy, very clean, or whatever it was. And I feel like five of pentacles, um, whoever this person is, who they be talking to and this whole situation that they're dealing with the other person, it's just like they're both struggling, they're both worried, they're both going through anxieties or financial ruin here, or they're both just having a really fucking hard time out in the cold, being outcasted in some type of sort or area. Ace of Pentacles, like I said, you're getting your wish, you have a manifestation coming up, or like I said, you'll keep having more and more that come in. You are going from the Eight of Pentacles to Nine of Pentacles. You've accumulated a lot, you put in a lot of hard work, you've got a lot of tension, energy, gifts, blessings, miracles, etc. And, you know, this is somebody here who they don't really have that many or it's hard for them to even keep them. Yeah, this is like envious energy. Like, imagine you working really, really hard and boom, you got a car. Boom, you got a house. Boom, you got a nice job. Boom, you going on vacation. Boom, you're getting your hair done. You getting your nails done. You buying some new clothes. You going out to the club. You doing this. You doing that. Or, like, you keep getting offers like, oh, you know, you just met this person. You did this. You're making connections. You're networking. You're doing this business. But It's like that's what's making this person envious. Because at one point, they were just like that. But I'm getting something came up against them or something ended up being too much or I'm getting they gave up on themselves, Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, and they're and they're just like, okay, how much work would it take for me to, uh, like, like they're refusing to confront their inner conflict or like you trigger this person. Because at one point in time, they had that same drive, the same energy or like, you know, they wanted to be that way. They never made it to where you are now and you're still climbing. Yeah, 
pay this war stream card this is all because motherfuckers is not minding their business they're pocket watching you they're looking at what you got going on or more importantly you know they're just enjoying the show i'm hearing where's the road 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 like we will if you ever seen um what is it what is it spongebob an episode where him and Turn up and Patrick are like um, officers or whatever the fuck they are. And they somehow get lost or something bad happens or they get scared or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, this is like energy like motherfuckers is not minding their business. Motherfuckers don't got their eyes on the road. They're not working their own, own job or doing their own work. I'm hearing that song. I gotta get myself together because I got nowhere to go. I want to go to heaven. Like somebody is religious. Somebody is religious here. I, I know that song, but I don't even, like, do all that. Like I say, somebody's religious here. Or they listen to these songs and hang around with religious people or whatever the fuck it is. They have religious ideals. But like I said, seven of swords. Somebody know they got to get their shit together. But it's like they can't help but hold in how they feel. Hold on this envy. Hold on this animosity or, you know, whatever it is. But whoever they talking to, like I said, they was tempted. They said, okay, listen to me, you convince me, whatever it is. They were tempted, boom, took the shit, seven of swords, boom, that's just what it is. Knight of swords. But when it get back to you, when it gets back to you, in the physical, two of swords, you're either not going to see it coming, it's going to, it's probably been sitting in your face for a minute. Like, for some of you guys, it could be like a message or some type of proof or something that keeps happening, but you're not paying attention to it. All right. Um, for those of you, magician card, you manifested there, you asked for clarity, that's what you got. And, um, or this is, this may not be the clarity you asked for, but it's on that spectrum. Those of you, page of wands, you fucked around and you found out that this is how motherfuckers was really feeling. Or this is what motherfuckers was really doing. Yeah, magician card. Or ace of wands, you could have got another new blessing, a new idea, a new creative energy, or building up potential energy to do something big, or, you know, just being hush-hush behind the scenes. All right, different people, different messages, different things will resonate. But this is what's going on or what's happening now or happened or whatever it is. Like, you know. Because I have the months card. Like I said, this happened a couple months ago or it's going to happen in the next couple months. For some of you guys here, this could be happening now. But there was like an interlude or uh, swap in energy within the different months. Or uh, I'm hearing evidence had to be made apparent. Yeah, but Eight of Swords, this is what somebody was really feeling in their mind. Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, they just never thought you would hear about it, it would get back to you, or, you know, that it would never reach your ears. Yeah, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, King of Wands. The person has not revealed their identity, or I'm getting temperance. Sagittarius energy, they're not tempered, they're not balanced. You are, some like, the balance has been restored. Also, we're in pre-Mercury uh, retrograde phase as well, if you're watching this. I'm going to tell y'all that in the beginning of the video, but child, yes, like... Mm -mm -mm. well let's go ahead and see how you should handle the situation when it comes to the person of interest who was talking the shit the first thing let's go ahead and see uh, when it comes to you guys Aquarius eight of swords and a cherry card just move forward here move favorably or you know I'm getting just keep, just stay on your high horse just stay on your throne I'm getting mush onward and upward into you know more interesting things ten of wands don't pick up any baggage or any strife or um pick up any dirt in your um orc atmosphere but ten of pentacles getting your bag or I'm getting spend money or I'm getting uh you know fuck focus on your money period Focus on loving up, focus on the material world, focus on being a boss that you are. Or focus on being a motherfucker that's making motherfuckers feel this type of way. Yeah, tower card of verse, because I feel like what's going on, the tower has already fallen or it's going to fall. Um, when you hear this, there just has to be some other um, blow of the wind or shift in the wind here. Yeah. That's just period. Alright, so that's, that's one of you guys here. Hold on. Let's go talk about it. Then the next person who's actually gossiping, their friend who's talking shit and all this other stuff. Let's see how you should handle that situation. Oh, shit. Okay, so you have the Ace of Wands and Seven of Wands. So, there's going to be two different ways you can handle this. For some of you guys here, your ancestors and your spiritual team, they're going to give you the okay. They're going to say, okay, Eight of Swords, out of sight, out of mind. Or I'm getting, you know, um, this isn't really pegging you or plaguing you or making you feel stuck or whatever it is before wands you can go to that person's front door or you could push up you could press the issue seven of cups but you'll have to use a different way of delivery de delivery and cloak yourself or cloak the energy if you really want to if you really about that life if you want a left hand path 
But if you're on the right hand half, of course, or you're neutral or whatever it is, seven of wands, you're being told to cross your T's, dot your I's, make sure that you don't get caught lacking or you get caught slipping. Because out of sight, out of mind, just because you're not thinking about it don't mean four of wands that it still ain't going on or a motherfucker ain't trying to find more shit to trigger or talk about or kick up more dirt in the issue, seven of cups. It's best if you just, um, I'm getting turned, put that cup back, put the situation back, or I'm, you know, just don't feed that your energy, don't sip on that shit no more. The alcohol is bad, the wine is old, you know, the milk is spoiled, um, the drink is not cold. Get you a new cold drink, get you something else to drink, if you did what I'm saying, get you a new Ace of Cups. Um, Herman Mode, before you retire, before you turn your back on getting, before you continue your self-discovery journey, or continue being a gentle giant, okay? Um, so, that is what's going on for you guys. If you do want to book a personal reading or this did resonate for you, you can definitely like the video. Comment down below or, you know, just simply um, share the video on your Facebook or subscribe, okay? Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. You know, YouTube isn't playing with my settings again. Turn them off, turn them on. Um, but yeah, and I will see you all later.